Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Cancer right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Cancers out there. Check your birth chart if this does not resonate for you, okay? Um, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings. That's in the description box below for you down there. And, oh yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't in the reading, please, and thank you, okay? Energy can be reversed. Time can be fluid. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on um, with Cancer. Let's get some messages from the goddesses for Cancer. What do the goddesses want to say to Cancer right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do the go goddesses want to say to Cancer? All right. So we have Goddess Artemis, Guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay. Um, we also have Lakshmi, Bright Future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. I feel like um, you guys are heavily protected right now. I think that's what Spirit is trying to tell you. Um, I feel like there could be anxiety about something, but I don't think that you should worry about anything right now. Um, I feel like you're guarded by Goddess Lakshmi. Or, I'm sorry, guarded by um, actually both. I want to say both. I think both of them are guarding you. Also... Goddess Artemis here is here to set up boundaries for you or to block um, toxicity from coming towards your path. Also, blocking um, your loved ones from, you know, becoming attacked by anything. All right, so we have Mahat, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. When this card came out, it gave me a vibe of, first of all, Mahat is, is kind of like justice, really. Um, I feel like this situation that you're dealing with right now, Cancer, is something that you don't have to worry about. We have true love here at the bottom. The romantic steerings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So I feel like um, you're getting an abundance of love. You could have someone here that sees you as their true love here. I feel like some anxiety, though, with the loved ones card. I feel like maybe some of you could be worried about your children or worried about your family or something like that. Um... Spirit wants you to know that everything is going to be balanced out the way it's supposed to be, and there's nothing that you should worry about, all right? So let's get into this with tarot. All right, what's going on with Cancer this week? What's going on with Cancer this week in March? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I feel like someone wants to be fair with you is what I'm getting, Cancer. Yeah, I'm getting that energy of someone wanting to be, be fair with you. If someone doesn't want to be fair with you, the universe is going to balance things out and make things fair for you in your own way. So I feel like that's the energy right now for you guys. All right, Cancer. All right, so we have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the world card here. We have the four of wands, queen of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the two of swords. All right, so I feel like there's some sort of um, temptation here. Um, someone here doesn't want you to close out a cycle is what I'm getting. We have the four of swords here at the bottom. So I feel like you're doing a lot of healing as of right now. Um, but the two of pentacles and the two of swords here... I feel like someone here is like either trying to be loyal to two things or pretending like they don't see something the way it is. But we're going to see what's going on here. Clarify the devil, please. Why is the devil here for cancer? Okay. The king of swords popped out with the sun. Let me get one more. Why is the sun here for cancer? All right, so we have the ace of swords here. So... Here's what I'm getting here. I feel like you cut out a toxic person. You're really cold to them right now. Could be a Leo, could be an air sign. But I feel like, I really feel like someone see something has definitely been illuminated here. And I feel like it's the toxicity. I feel like this person's behavior, cold, narcissistic, bonding, like, you know, they're very codependent on you, but at the same time, they're really cold. They're, it's not that, they're not even emotional, right? Um, I feel like this is what you see about them. This is the final truth. It's like the clarity that you have about the situation. Okay. Um, I feel like you're really smart about the situation or your person is really smart about the situation. 
depending on who's the toxic one, all right? And I feel like you're closing out this cycle. Why is the world card here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, closing the cycle out, becoming very... You're an Empress right now, Cancer. Um, you could be a mother, right? Um, you're manifesting a lot of things. I feel like this person's offer, they know that they can't come to you a certain way. They want to come towards you a certain way, but now that they know that they can't here with the Empress, I feel like they're pretty mad. There could have been an argument here for some of you, Cancer. And I feel like the argument was coming from your side. You you pr you pretty much said, you know, I'm going to close the cycle out. I'm going to stop everything. I have the power to stop whatever I want. Um, you probably said this very bluntly, but you close the cycle out. You definitely manifested the things that you want in your life. It's what you're doing right now. That's your energy. I feel like this person could be a little bit angry about that. They want to rush in quickly, okay? Why is the Four of Wands here? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We have the Fool, the Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom. Or I'm sorry, we have the Queen of Pentacles here in the reading. I feel like someone is going to take a leap of faith. I feel like, oh, okay. Some, this person might take a risk and change is what I'm getting. Because here's the thing, they do see you as someone stable, committed. They see you as marriage materials like they want to be loyal to you with the king of pentacles here um if not i feel that you guys are moving towards the king of pentacles but i really feel like someone wants to take a risk with you is what i'm getting here i don't see a new love i feel like this is the same person coming back the same narcissistic person coming back um i you know what i don't want to call them narcissistic i take that back let's say that they are codependent right they want to put an end to something they want to put a rest to something maybe a third party but with the king and queen of pentacles here i feel like this is like loyal energy like this person wants to be loyal to you cancer it's like they're making plans for that they could be making plans for their money all right clarify the queen of pentacles please for cancer sun moon rising and venus signs queen of pentacles for cancer six of swords the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands here. Things have definitely changed. You're moving on to your destiny here. Yeah. Something that you're really passionate about too. You're moving on the karma waters. You're letting you know you're letting the karmic wheel change in your favor. Okay, so that's your energy. I don't know if this person is gonna come towards you. I don't know if they see you as their destiny. Yeah, I do see them I do see them looking at you as if like you're their destiny, right? But I also I see a bright future for you guys, too. I feel like you guys are trying to protect your bright future. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Cancer? Ace of Cups, the Hermit, and the Three of Wands. Wow. Okay. Waiting for an opportunity of love. Waiting... What is this waiting about? Waiting for your ships to come in? I feel like there, there's like a new love. There's someone that you're not talking to. It could be a Virgo. Earth sign or an air sign. And I feel like they're waiting for you to communicate to them because they see you as an opportunity of love. I feel like they're really juggling on whether or not they should be waiting on you or not. Or this could be reversed, right? You could be uh, ju you know, juggling on whether or not you should be waiting for them. Why is the Two of Swords here? Clarify the Two of Swords. Actually, you know what? Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups, please. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups, please, for Cancer. Yeah, there's that King of Wands. Someone wants to take action towards you, but you're not talking to them. They seem at a distance from you, and they it seems like they're waiting for you to communicate first. For others of you, I'm seeing a fire sign and an earth sign. You know, maybe one is planning for you and one is waiting for you. So, however that resonates. Or this could just be one person, right? But someone is like really, um, they really want to come and take action towards you. 
Action towards a new love here. All right, so why is the Two of Swords here for Cancer? All right, so you have the Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. So you're in this energy right now, like, um, you don't want to reconcile as of right now. Um, you'll communicate with them. You'll hear them out. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. But I really feel like you're really stern with this person. Um, this person's pretty stern, too. So... The reading started with a King of Swords and ended with a Queen of Swords, so that could just be your energy. I feel like you're just really cold to this person here. I feel like this person regrets things because maybe they try to control something here and it just didn't work out for them. But yeah, I really feel like this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? Let's get some Psychic Tarot for you guys. What is going on in this reading for Cancer right now? Someone rising and Venus signs. What is going right now? Going on right now for Cancer in this reading? What's going on right now for Cancer? All right, so we have accelerated motions. Something could be coming in for you really fast here. Okay, triumph. Yeah, more accelerated motion. Moving forward, gaining victory here, Cancer. Okay, love begins. You could be having a new love come into your life. What else for Cancer? And then we have temptation. Be careful here because this person... Triumphant success and throat chakra is here. I feel like you have to speak your mind to this person here. Um, because this person has a tendency to maybe tempt you from your new love is what I'm getting. Yeah, authority. Maybe try to control things, okay? This person may feel like they can control the situation or they feel like they you know for the boss what does this person want to say to cancer what does this person want to say to cancer right now all right so we have i wish i could take back the hurtful things i said it was wrong to take out my frustration on you yeah i feel like this person really came off really cold in the beginning and you realize that this person was kind of codependent for whatever they said to you Okay, so we have, I'm ready to open up to you. Um, wherever you are is home to me. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Yeah, I feel like they're sort of waiting. Okay, I'm ready to let down my guard with you. So this person maybe had their guard up, and now they want to, you know, let you in. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. No one compares to you. I'm full of joy in your presence. All right, Cancer? That was your reading, guys. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share it on my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.